today in North Warwickshire. And uh, while we're talking about energy, today E.ON announced it's cutting its gas price. It's the first of the big six energy firms to do so after the government wrote to them at the weekend demanding action. And that's good news for one black country home which doesn't just use gas for heating, they use it to run a mini power station to make their own electricity, saving a third on their energy bills. Could we all be doing the same in the future? Our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar reports. This Wolverhampton home is one of the most advanced in the country. It's all powered by a mini home power station, a fuel cell. It produces heat and electricity, so there's no need to buy it from the energy company. Is your electricity consumption from the grid down? It is, yes. We've um, produced a chart where we've um, analysed how much electricity we've had since 2011. And um, since it was installed, the red line shows that our electricity can stop. And here's the reason for that impressive drop. The fuel cell on the left, boiler on the right, saving around a third on energy bills. So where does the saving come from? Well, the fuel cell is powered by gas and it's making heat and electricity. So if gas costs around three pence a unit and you're producing electricity that costs, what, roughly four or five times that, that's where your saving comes from. Now, Claire's husband is actually a director of Telford-based Wiesmann, whose German arm makes this system. So it's not surprising they're early adapters. But actually, it's not the first domestic fuel cell in the Midlands. And this is it, in a garden shed in Stourbridge. In 2008, the Black Country Housing Group and the University of Birmingham and more trialled this technology in a pilot scheme. Now, that same system is now in retirement at the university. So here we are, we're at the Vaccine Tech uh, beta unit. There were four real people living in a real house and we collected lots of data and learnt lots of stuff about it. We could build these kind of systems in the Midlands? Oh, of course we could do. The technology is there, it's getting to a maturity stage where um, the researchers are getting um, closer to, they are happy with something to be put into the field. So fuel cells might one day mean jobs as well as offering a greener way to make power. Now you can finally buy one, how much? At the moment, the cost would be around 22,000. Obviously, we're at the very early level, so as volumes increase and people adopt the technology, um, those costs will come down. It seems tea made by fuel cell might be a bit of a rarity, at least for now. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Minister today, Wolverhampton. It's been a chilly old day today, today, hasn't it? Well, snow could be on the way.